August 16, 1955. The number one song on the charts. At the box office, audiences were crowding into theaters to watch Henry Fonda in Mr. Roberts. And the top news story of the day. After killing 43 in North and South Carolina, as well as in Virginia and Maryland, Hurricane Connie was dissipating. What wasn't reported, however, was that on August the 16th, 1955, the first test of the Hawk missile took place at White Sands Missile Range in southeast New Mexico. Hawk was an acronym for Homing All the Way Killer, H-A-W-K. Raytheon built the weapon. Those in the military who worked on and with the Hawk had a saying, if you fly, you die. Raytheon produced this now historic promotional film that shows a test of the very first time a missile, the Hawk, intercepted another missile, the Honest John. Announcing an intercept test by Army Hawk Project Command. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. An Honest John target missile is launched for its role. A Hawk missile hurtles through the air. Aptly named, it swoops down for the kill. Here is drama as the camera arrests the action to offer visual evidence of the Hawk's unerring guidance system. Visual evidence of its lethal punch. Hawk was designed to be a surface-to-air weapon. Smaller than previous missiles, the reduced weight made the Hawk more mobile. That did cut down somewhat on the distance that the missile could travel when launched. The initial performance was below expectations, but improvements in a radar guidance system led to more satisfactory results. The Hawk prototype entered service in 1957 and the basic Hawk two years later. Improvements continued over time. Low-level multi-jamming capabilities were added in 1990 a new body section was created in the early 1990s, and a new warhead was added in 1995. Hawk soon became a staple in the stable of weapons of the United States Army. The missiles are loaded on the launcher, three at a time, with a very unique tracked vehicle, which also performs several other tasks around the battery site. Hawk, unlike any other anti-aircraft missile system in production today, is extremely effective at the very lowest altitude that the enemy could possibly fly. It is also very effective at moderately high altitudes. When a target is sighted by radar and identified as such in the battery control center, it is assigned to a firing section by a tactical control officer. The target is then tracked automatically by the radar and launcher. When the target is within range of the missile, the fire control operator presses the fire button and the missile is launched. Once in the air, the missile homes on the target despite any attempts to escape. Hawk in development has been fired successfully at many kinds of the most modern high-speed targets available. Research and development of Hawk has been carried out at Raytheon in Bedford, Massachusetts and at White Sands, New Mexico. The Marine Corps actively used the Hawk. Hawk was prevalent on the battlefields of Vietnam. In February and March of 1965, Marines deployed Hawks in their service for the very first time. That took place at Da Nang. This would also be the first deployment of a Hawk in Vietnam. During the Cuban Missile Crisis, Hawks were set up in Florida, ready to launch if enemy aircraft invaded. The Hawk has an extensive combat history with other countries as well. In March 1965, the first Hawk Battalion to Israel was deployed. In October 1973, during the Yom Kippur War, 
Hawks destroyed numerous aircraft. During the Iran-Iraq War in the 1980s, Iran used the missile to down some 40 jets. During Operation Dawn 8 on February the 12th, 1986, Iranian Hawks brought down nine Iraqi aircraft, including MiG-23s. In 1987, the French Army shot down a Libyan bomber with a Hawk. In 1990, Hawks were launched from Kuwait against Iraqi invaders. A Hawk missile has long been on display at the New Mexico Museum of Space History. The Hawk had nearly 40 years of service when in 1994, the Army transitioned to the Patriot missile. Not until 2002 did the Marines discontinue use of the weapon when they adopted the Stinger. <laughs>